Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. This is today's tarot for all saints for Sunday, the 14th of April, April <laughs> um, 2024. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there, I give one question readings amongst other things. Now, you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website, BeHealing.com. At any time, find a link for that in the description box below and I'll sort that too. At any time, because I do all the pre-book readings right at the start of the next live show, then send you the link to the replay if you book one of those in. So you don't need to be able to make it live to get one of those one-question readings with me. Alternatively, come along live. You can book while I'm live and I'll do it straight away for you. So, what's in the energies for everybody today? Oh, well, there's two ways in which to win a private reading with me. Every single month, first way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video, leaving a comment, that'll get you one entry and do that as many times as you like. On all my videos, I'll get you many entries in. The second way is by checking out my pick a card reads. If you purchase the deeper dives, those extended readings to those, that'll get you entries into the second prize draw. So what we've got going on today, we've got Foxfire, the richness within, creation of light, things getting easier, perhaps in your work. Um, you could be, the richness within is about the the qualities that we've got, the all the abundance that we've got inside of ourselves, not just our time and our bodies that we can exchange for money, or abundance it's the our ideas it's our talents it's the what we're really good at you know the richness within could be excited about something foxfire passionate about something creation of light and it's getting easier now feels like a work kind of a day this although it's sunday um but yeah things getting easier what what comes naturally to you easily to you what is your greatest um abundant power you know um so so all of us could work in mcdonald's right but that's probably not the best um use of our our time our resources and our skills right and so we've got to know what those skills are what are, are not just marketable skills but what will help more people you know what can we do that will reach more people help more people um like a service or a something that you're creating that a lot of people will want that it's that stuff that's getting easier apparently today and that's exciting with that fox fire something that you're passionate about unconditional love oh okay Unconditional love, a kind of love that I would say, say for the children um, or those that you have been in re relationships with for a long time. I don't think unconditional love is a very healthy thing to do, especially like romantic relationships, even friendships, uh, until it's been earned. Because those of us that are, find it more more comfortable, those of us that can unconditionally love and, and that like being like that, if we're just open to anybody it really works against us I've got wild believe in your otherworldly beauty dance with the waves drink in the sunshine it could be a really good day today the energies are feeling good okay starting out with the ace of pentacles you could be given a really big offer here it could be a very abundant offer something that's going to stick around for the long term something that perhaps is going to be very abundant for the long term we've got the queen of wands you're attractive right now, needing to take action on it. So, you, so uh, people will be noticing your energy more than usual. So, a really great time to take action because of that. We've got the King of Swords, which is someone else's energy in the Eight of Wands. So, someone's getting in touch with you because they've got great clarity on you. Eight of Wands is about direct communication. So they've got great clarity and they're getting in touch with you. And the sun card with the five of wands, you're reaching higher now, getting better results and it's making you really happy. So there is a bit of a glow up kind of an energy today, something working and it's making you excited. Ace of Pentacles, what are we being offered? Oh, I hope it's happening for you. Ace of Pentacles, there's a big offer, something, a seed is planted and it could be around for the long term with the Ace of Pentacles, could really grow into something. The unknown, it's unknown, but Queen of Materials, you're stable, you're successful and awakening, you're seeing that, seeing that you can be successful, you could be successful in this. Unknown, the Moon card, you don't know whether it's going to pan out, but you can see that it might do, and so you could be getting excited about that about something that you're starting, something that you're being offered. It could be a job offer, it could be a new project that you're doing. 
um, it getting easier now and you're thinking like this this could really pay off in the long term new day so it is something new cool so the queen of wands you're very attractive right now and so take advantage of this that anything that you take action on that now is going to be noticed by other people wheel of fortune you're lucky right now or it appears that you're lucky right now it's not really luck it's, you've got into alignment is what it is we get very lucky when we when we know how to get ourselves into alignment or we appear very lucky to other people what's behind that is inner journey but you got yourself there right we get ourselves into alignment and we do appear very lucky because we start receiving back a lot and people respond to our energies a lot eight of wands and the king of swords someone someone else has got clarity about you this king of swords and they're getting in touch with the eight of wands direct communication oh ace of emotions so they could be feeling really good about you this could be someone that's in love with you as well but page of inspiration giving you some exciting news and the eight of voices broken free of a trap so they've got out of something ace of emotions it doesn't have to be someone that's in love with you we could still be talking about a business opportunity project or something like that something to do with your work or some talent that you've got it could be it could also be love as well so just take it as, as it applies in your life but an exciting offer from them eight of voices it could be you breaking free of something or them breaking free of something or feeling like you've got out of a rut now and that rut could have been like things don't seem to be working very easily for me you know and perhaps they just are now and people are coming your way offering you things stuff like that What's behind that is healing energy so an inner journey has got you there so you've healed yourself enough now that this starts happening i don't know about you but i'm pretty driven and i've been trying to manifest things i've had this business a very long time and i've been trying to manifest things in it in fact in, in the earlier days i was trying to manifest more you know i was eager and i was really setting my sights really high thinking that i could quickly uh, get myself there now i'm a little bit more mature wiser realizing that it's more of a gradual progression so i don't do pie in the sky asks anymore and i don't push myself that hard because i know what well, it just naturally um you know gets better gets bigger um i get more successful and all of that kind of thing so yeah this healing healing energy and inner journey you've got yourself into alignment and we do you know, if we keep on progressing and learning about ourselves, getting to know ourselves and healing and all of that kind of thing, we get into more and more alignment and things get better for us. The sun and the five of wands. And so now you're really happy about reaching higher. It's like things are working now. Eight of emotions. You've let go of some kind of emotional attachment. And, and now you can be happy. So it's an emotional attachment to be a victim is what it is. That's what it is. So sometimes we can be emotionally attached to being a victim, like the poor me kind of an energy. Perhaps we connect with other people based on that. Um, it's like, yeah, this isn't working for me. It gives me something to talk about when I'm with my friends. <laughs> Something's not working for me. And we don't, when we're having a glow up, we, there's less people to connect with because it can seem like bragging. And n victories, despite what you might see on social media, are few and far between. And so there can be certain people that you know celebrate your wins but there's also a lot of people that get triggered by that and this you might be less emotionally in other words it might be okay for you to just be happy and you don't need to share it with other people and get validation from them you might have got to that stage where you can be happy without other people validating you too, without having to tell them, without having to get a round of applause from other people. Just enough by yourself, reaching higher now, and you're happy about that. No emotional attachment to getting recognition from others. And when we don't have an emotional attachment to that anymore, you know, it's that whole scenario you see it in movies. Um, as a parent the parent wants them to take whoever you know the the lead character to take over um the the family business but the lead character is an artist or a writer or whatever and they don't want to be part of the family business and there's this whole 
I, I've painted this painting or I've written this book and then they go to their father and their father's like, that's, you know, you'll never, you'll never get anywhere with that because, you know, it's that whole story. And, and when that person, when that lead character stops making it about making their parent happy, stop wanting to get the validation from them, if they just write the damn book or paint the painting and be cool with it themselves, right? Then they'll, they'll be okay. And it's just the same kind of an energy. What's behind that is creativity. So you're making something and being happy by yourself about it, no longer needing that validation from other people. And then you can reach higher. It's like, oh, the universe says, oh, she's ready now. Because she's not oh, going to hold herself back by trying to get people that can't be happy for her because she's not making them happy. <laughs> Getting validation from them, right? So what about our love lives today? What about our love lives today? I've got something tickling my face. Cat hair. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So don't be pushing with your love life. Don't be trying to push things forward. Just go with the flow. Trust all will be well and shine. Shining brighter. If you're resonating with this reading, you're shining brighter now. And you could be attracting um, a, a new caliber of love your way. So shine. And trust all will be well. Your love life will sort itself out. Um, as I said in yesterday's reading, we start attracting much better caliber of people around us in our work and friendships and things like that. And then eventually there will be a romantic connection that comes in. Don't don't try and start with the romance. I would not recommend to start with the romance. Soul connection and security. A true soul connection is going to make you feel more secure, not less secure. You know, sometimes a lot of people, especially people that watch tarot, they can tend to think that dysfunctional relationships are the ones that they really should be with because they've listened to people teaching about twin flames and pretending that, that these dysfunctional relationship signs are a sign that this person is meant for you. It's not. The universe would never do that to us, never. A sign of alignment is that things get better and more joyful and easier and more secure. It's not the other way around. Never the other way around. Never. So all those signs that a relationship is out of alignment is not a sign that they're the right person for you. A soul connection is going to make you feel secure. We've got love. We've got the erotic and delight and communication. Okay. So talk about people pleasing stuff as well. We had this energy yesterday as well. It's like erotic communication. Um, someone giving you attention. Be careful of that. Be careful of the attention that you get from others when it's just the, the physical. Because... An unloved person can hyper respond to that kind of thing and think that it's more than what it is when it really is just a thirsty person getting in touch with you because it wants something. Same message as yesterday. What else have we got? <laughs> yep, yep. The rabbit came out first. Too much concern with sexual matters. Careful of that can really lead you astray. We've got beetle, good fortune. We've got a parrot, someone gossip about you. Now, yeah, don't seek validation from the wrong people because they will. They'll take your energy down by gossiping, by giving you bad feedback in the first place. Carriage, a journey either physical or mental. We've got a rat. Yeah, someone working against you, be careful. And mice, discord among friends and family. Big message to be happy for yourself and not needing validation from other people today, right? So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer. But it's just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag and cards out of my deck, so specific questions that you've got, you can book in for one of my one question readings on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Or you can book in for a full private reading if you've got lots of questions or if you want a lot of detail and a private as well. You book in for one of my private readings. There's a link in the description box below and also up there too. So how best to deal with these energies today? I've got the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords. Okay, right. So 
the universe is trying to help you out here to get you from where you are to where you want to be says the six of swords so three of swords to get you away from heartbreak don't keep on doing the things that break your heart don't keep on going to the parent that wants you to do something else instead of being yourself and then try and get the validation from them it's going to break your heart right and so however you're doing that whoever it is that you're telling stuff to that you shouldn't be it's taking your energy down and this is saying like just be happy for yourself by yourself let that be enough and and you'll be more more secure and you won't get your heart broken don't tell them <laughs> don't share it with them if it breaks your heart so think of a yes or no answer question now and pause the video if you're not ready for your answer your answer is yes Brenda Katz knocked the cushion on top of herself there you go thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new leave a good comment that'll get you an entry in a prize draw into a prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month good luck with that I do a today's tarot every single day of the year and I go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show I make a short every single week week ahead um, for each star sign sun moon rising venus signs and I make three love picker card reads a week as well you can find one of those right there right now watch that next if you want I have the best day ever and I'll see you tomorrow bye